I did my hair again. <laughs> I really think I like this better. Not 100% sure. But I want to say the more I had this haircut, the more I truly believe my hairstylist did not give me what I wanted. And I will probably share that picture now with you. I have to curl my ends under because if I don't, it looks pretty bad. I'm not exaggerating, it looks bad. So I curl my ends under everywhere, in, including my bangs. My bangs are supposed to be right up here per that picture I showed him. So I will probably have to switch hairstylist. He's always done good, always, since day one. And this time, I'm like, that's not what I wanted. That being said, he said that day when I said, oh, this isn't what I wanted. He goes, oh, your shortest layer is, and he pulled something out like that. That's my shortest layer. My shortest layer is supposed to be like up to here. And so I kind of looked at him thinking, that's not what I want. <laughs> and so he said, okay, wear it around for a couple of days. And if you don't like it, contact me and I'll give you more layers. I said, okay. So today I contacted him and he said, sure. When would you like to come in? I said, how about today after five? He's like, uh, sure. And I said, I only said this to see what he want, is going to say. I said, how much is this going to cost me? And he said, I don't know. I will reach out to you later. Well, it's after 5, almost 5.30 when I said to him, can I come in around 5.30? He has not reached out. So I need to find a better hairstylist. And I don't even know if I say better because I'm sure some are like give and take kind of. But I wanted smaller layers up here so I can have some body. My whole life, practically my whole life, it's always been long layers. And now that I finally want short, I didn't get them. Is somebody trying to tell me something? I currently don't have a lot to say at this moment in time. And I'm sure you want my whole video to be about my haircut. I've still been at my ex's. Gosh, I can't remember the day I moved into it. I shouldn't say moved into it because I haven't moved in. But I'm staying there until Sunday evening. I think Sunday evening because I'm going to help my daughter with her dog. Every now and then, I really don't have a rhyme or reason. I will just text him and say, hey, can I stay at your house for a day too? And he always says yes. But if his sister's there, then it's usually usually a no-go because I cannot lay on that love seat at all. Especially soon, I'll be having my surgery and there's no way I can lay on the love seat. Yesterday, or at least I thought it was yesterday, I had something big to share with you, something important. I was excited and fell asleep. I also want to add that I missed a UFO conference they had here. I have been swearing up and down for three years now saying that I will go next year. I'm going to do it. And because of the surgery and money going out and the tags for the Durango in which I haven't got yet, has not been done yet. So I'm still saving money that I'm not being able to save because there's other things I've got to pay for. I'm fixing to lose my mind. I'm fixing to lose my mind because I'm struggling really, really bad. Mentally, physically, financially, <laughs> you name it, I'm struggling. I'm probably some of you is going to say, well, maybe you should save more money because you colored your hair. I was so down and out the other day before I did my hair. And I'm like, I'm just going to spend enough money on my hair, which is $30 spend enough of my hair to make to make me happy and it did temporarily and which I should have thought through I mean sometimes we have to do something that makes us happy whether it be spending money or doing something 
to ease that discomfort of stress in her life. That's just my opinion. It might not be everybody's opinion, but I think to each their own. And whether it be right or wrong, I guess, nobody can really say. It's another windy day in which I enjoy. It's pretty windy. You might hear it whistling again. I was editing the other video when I said it was windy. And I'm like, oh gosh, you can hear it whistling. And then the other one, when it was raining, I'm like, oh my gosh, you can hear it. But it wasn't drowning me out. Thank goodness, because that would have been mortifying to me, knowing that I had to redo the whole video. When I first started my YouTube, there were times where I'm like, oh crap, there was something wrong. Like the color saturation, or some noises in the background, or I just didn't like it. So I would delete a 30 minute video and do over again. And that sucks. I'm here to tell you it sucks. When I'm uploading a video at his house, it is so freaking slow. I cannot stress enough how slow it is. It's almost like, well, when I leave here, I can go to uh, my place of work and upload it through their internet because it's faster. But if I did that, I would be gone all day, practically. I will be on target again um, when I'm back in the truck. I kind of miss being in the truck, I should say. I do miss it quite a bit. I feel I have become accustomed to it. I like sleeping in here. I like listening to the surroundings, um, especially when it's raining lightly, I should say, or the wind is blowing. I like those two times. The sounds of nature, I guess, is what you would call it. And also, might I add, the gentle rocking of the truck. That's very coincidental because the wind just rocked my truck. And I miss sitting in it during the day looking at the sky. Right now, the sky is so pretty blue. I don't know if you can tell it right there. It looks like it's uh, saturated. But it's so blue and bright and it's so windy that you can actually see the cow clouds the clouds <laughs> moving pretty fast. I plan on at some point, not sure when because of my hip surgery, that I'm going to get a, uh, I don't know what you call it, that big black box you put on top of your uh, vehicle and you can put stuff in it. I still want to get one of those and buy a chair to put in it and uh, cooking stuff. And I want to get a hammock also with stands because I want to lay out in darkness somewhere I don't know where look at the sky and eat and be in my hammock that sounds so exciting and I want to do that being in the truck you're able to do it and you're able to do it anywhere that you want that to me is relaxing or even if I don't cook I could go get to go somewhere like Chinese just popped in my mind oh I have to tell you something that was really funny so I'm driving down the road and my second born daughter and <laughs> as they're driving I look up at the windshield and there's a, a little tan spider now I don't care the size of a spider because they still petrify me they scare me to death. I have an enormous fear. I don't know why. So I'm driving. She's talking. She doesn't know what I see. All of a sudden, the spider drops. I jump back and gasp. And then it was hung by its web. And it starts going up. And she's like, what? And I said, there's a spider. And so I'm pulling over as fast as I can. Where I was when I seen it, there was nowhere to turn into. And so, as soon as I could, I pulled in this apartment complex. And she's like, oh yeah, there it is. She goes, we're not going to kill it, but we're going to capture it and let it go. I said, okay. So, she had a post-it of mine. And she's trying to get it, and she's going everywhere. It wasn't going anywhere with her. <laughs> it just wasn't. And so, I'm thinking, I need a container or something, like a cup. And the spider's like on the window, you, you cup it. The only thing I had was a Tums bottle, in which I don't have anymore. But I'm like, there's four Tums in it. 
I'll just pour the Tums in my hand, and this is the Tums lid, and get the container and trap it. Well, I got it trapped, I thought, in the container in the windshield, and she's, <laughs> she's like, oh my God, it's on the outside of the container, and I threw it on the dash. I screamed, and she screamed, and we're all screaming, and I look down there, you can still see it on the container, I rolled down her window. I grabbed the container really fast. <laughs> I flung it out her window and she's all stuck to her seat like this. And she watches it go out. It was, it, I'm sorry, I probably got really loud. But <laughs> when I threw it out, we both laughed so hard for at least 30 minutes. <laughs> it was crazy. So the container went outside with the spider on it, I hope. And this is the lid. And we ate the Tums. She ate two and I ate two. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that story. But when I seen it, I'm sitting there thinking, I have got to capture it because I don't want to sleep with it. That's another one of my fears. I don't want ants in my vehicle, so I don't keep food in here. And spiders especially spiders. I'd rather sleep in a bed of non-pain-giving ants than spiders. I am just throwing that out there because I have that fear. So anyway, my dear friends, that's all of my stories for you today. I hope you all are doing well. I, I was succeeding to another video for you. By the way, I can't remember what happened, but the last two days I was unable to, oh, yesterday I was in pain pretty much, so I didn't do anything. I went to Walmart, I think it was, and then the day before I, didn't, I was not wanting to do anything. So that's why I didn't put a video out those two days, but I'm really trying still to put a video out every single day. I'm working hard on it. So I'm going to end this here. I love you guys tremendously. And I'm sending you all love, light, and peace. Bye.